Well, I think the whole album is... When, when we finished the album, it just mm. seemed like it, it, it had a constant theme running throughout the whole mm. album, so I didn't mm. want to... We couldn't like pick one song and call it mm. as, as in Heaven and Hell and Mob Rules. Mm. You know, there was a we picked the title of a song and called an album that. Mm. On this album, it just uh, the, the theme was, it, it was within each song. Mm. You know, it was almost like a concept sort of album. Mm. And so I didn't think any particular uh, track could sum up the whole album. Mm. And this time we, we just thought like rather than picking a song title to have one one word or one title that would sum up the whole feel in the gal. Mm. And um, I just came up with a list of different names and mm. showed them to the rest of the guys and everybody liked to do humor on it. Mm. So I think that mm. decision to put it with that. Concentrate on what we want to play on it and just mm. relax as far as knowing that somebody else is, is listening out for it. If you, Make the mistakes, or if mm. you, want, you know, you could just concentrate and be in your part. Mm. Well, obviously, you'd have to have a, a good sound as well. You know, you'd, <clears throat> you'd be listening to the sound at first, and then mm. you'd listen to what you're playing once you've established that you, you like the sound. Can you take a look at him? Touch him up, please. Quick touch up, and we go. done the Live Evil album, mm. um, we were here in Los Angeles at the mm. record plant, the old record plant, mm. doing the album, and we were told each day that uh, we would start at 2 o'clock. Mm. So every day at 2 o'clock we would go there, Vinny and I and the rest of the band, and then mm. after about a week being there, mm. uh, we would go there at 2 and the rest of the band wouldn't be there. Mm. And every day it would be the same. We would wait until maybe 10 o'clock at night, mm. and the rest of the band, when we left, would come in. Mm -hmm. So we would leave at 10, they would mm. be there five minutes past time. Mm. Well, that meant to us that they didn't want to be around us very much. Mm. And so it meant the end of the band, because mm. you cannot make music if you're not happy. Mm. Uh, unhappy music means unsuccessful albums mm. and unsuccessful music. So 
um, we we were gone, but in our life, and we were mm. lucky enough to be able to form Dio after that. Mm. But then we have found out since then, but the mm. reason was that the producer who was producing that album, whose name I won't even mention because it's not important, mm. um, he was telling Tony and Geezer mm. that Vinny and I mm. were going into the studio at mm. 2 o'clock mm -hmm. and turning up the vocal and the drums mm -hmm. and turning down the guitar and the bass. In the mix. In the mix. This, because we were there mixing the album, we'd already recorded it. Mm. And we didn't know this until until after the band broke up and we saw it in the press. Mm. We saw in the press, Ronnie and Vinny would go in and turn up the guitar, you know, turn up the vocal, and et cetera, and turn on the guitar, so mm. we couldn't have them in the band anymore. Mm. We looked at each other and said, this is ridiculous, because if you listen, again, if you listen to the Dio albums, mm. you will find that they are all very equal in sound. Mm. You hear the bass, you hear the drums. In fact, you hear the vocal perhaps less than you hear anything else. Mm. Because that's the way I think. It's supposed to be a band. Mm. I produce those albums. Mm. Now, I have the right mm. to go in and say, right, we won't even hear the guitar and the bass and Dio. Mm. We'll only hear drums and vocal, won't we? So it shows you just how stupid it is. But it was nothing to do with Geezer and Tony. Mm. The producer told them that. Mm. So they went, wrong. <laughs> get rid of them, so mm. we broke up, and that's the reason. Uh, now, since then, mm. uh, when before we got back together again, mm. I, first thing I said to Geezer was, "I want to know about what happened with this turning up the drums and the vocal crap because <laughs> it's shit." <laughs> and he said, "Well, it wasn't." A, he said it was Mr. X, the producer. Mm. <laughs> he told us that that's what you did, mm. and I said, "Well, you know differently now, don't you?" And he said, yes, we do. We know differently, so that took that away. And that mm. was the reason the band broke up. Just because of that, because of that one person, Mr. X, mm. saying that, and they believed him. Mm. But it was a time when the band had a lot of success. Mm. Uh, Black Sabbath was a huge band still right. at that time. And mm. I think our egos got, mm. you know, their egos listened to what Mr. X said. Mm. And we couldn't understand why. Mm. So we said, fine, we'll break up. With and that's mm. why. But not now. Uh, now that we've talked about it, Everyone understands that that was wrong, that that was the reason we broke up and it was the wrong reason. So mm. from then on, it's not been a problem. I saw Geezer in uh, Minneapolis. We were playing a deal in oh, Minneapolis, really? Minnesota. When? You remember? Uh, this was uh, about um, two years ago. Two years ago. Mm -hmm. Finishing a uh, live evil tour. Mm -hmm. Yeah, about 1990. Yeah, the summertime. Mm -hmm. And uh, I hadn't spoken to Geezer since we broke up, which was about 83. 82, 82, 82. 82. 82. Mm -hmm. So, virtually, what, eight years? Eight years. Mm -hmm. And uh, his uh, his manager, who was his wife, mm -hmm. called my manager, who mm -hmm. was my wife, yeah. and <clears throat> said, we would like to get back together to see you again. You know, we missed your friendship. Because we were we were very, very close. Mm -hmm. mm -hmm. He's her and his wife and my mm -hmm. wife are really, really close. Mm -hmm. And uh, she called and said, Geezer would like, you know, love to see Ronnie again. Mm -hmm. I'd like to see you, Wendy, etc., etc. Mm. Would Ronnie mind? Mm. I said, no, it'd be wonderful. I'd love to see Geezer. Mm -hmm. Never held any grudges against him ever. Mm. So please come. So they came to the show in, in Minnesota, and I made Geezer play. Oh. We played that. We did Neon Nights. Anyway. You remember the which song? Neon Nights. Neon Nights. Nights. Oh, yeah. And it was, it was wonderful. It was great. It was so much mm. fun, you know, to, to hear how great Geezer was again. Mm. And then afterward, we talked for a long period of time. We had Drink. <laughs> and we talked about what I told you before, mm. about Mr. X. Mr. X, yeah. yes. And then uh, we both had more to drink and said, mm -hmm. gee, we should play together again. <laughs> we never really finished. Yeah. And, and Geezer said, well, I'm mm. going to speak to Tony tomorrow, because mm. I think it's important that we do that. Mm. So it was Geezer who was the connection between Tony and me. Mm. Without Geezer and the connection, I never would have called Tony. Mm. And Tony never would have called me. Mm. So Geezer called, went back home to England, talked to Tony. Mm. Tony called me. Mm -hmm. Tony said, hey, you want to do it again? And mm. I said, uh, maybe. Mm. We'll think about it. So we mm. talked for some more time and we mm. said, yeah, let's try. Mm. And that's what happened. That's how we got back together. Mm. It was strictly because we cared about what the music we had made before mm. and we felt that we had better music to make than when we'd stop. Mm. We wanted to make more music. We, we wanted to give it one more chance. Mm. And by giving it one more chance, we've shown that, you know, that uh, we probably give it a lot more than one chance. Mm. Come on. Rolling? Yes? Okay, roll sound.
keep on rolling, Ronnie. Right? Okay. I'll keep on missing all the words, don't worry. Jesus. Ronnie, you all set, sir? Yes, I am. Okay, Jay, okay. let's stick this way in. Let's roll cameras, please. Cameras. We rolling? All cameras rolling. Okay, all cameras rolling. Let's roll south. Bill. Spinning. Here come the irritating tones. Say the same thing, don't we? <laughs> we, all, we? Everybody always says, we can't wait to go back to Japan, eh? Well, you know, for us it's probably true because we haven't been there for a long time. The last time I was there was in, it was the, yeah, 88, the, yeah. so we're talking, yeah, four or five years almost. Mm. And before that I had been there so many times with Rainbow, mm. and we had been there, what, just once or seven? Yeah, once or seven. Yeah, once or seven. Yeah, I remember. Three and times with us. Yeah, three times with Dio. Mm. So we had been there many times. I got so many friends there, mm. so many fans, both of us do, and mm. so does the band Sabbath. So our message is, you know, we finally get a chance to come back. We'll be back mm. in December mm. um, with a new album, mm. with the same band, mm. younger, <laughs> um, and we just can't wait. That's okay. my message. Can't uh, wait to see you in December. Yeah. When you get the album, play it loud. 